Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Welcome to our QuickBooks Online Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an estimate with QuickBooks Online. You can find all 46 of our free QuickBooks Online Tutorials by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. So let's see exactly how simple it is to, quick, to create an estimate within QuickBooks Online. This is assuming that you have all your QuickBooks company information set up properly. So I'll show you how easy this is when everything's set up properly, and then I'll give you some guidance on how to go about uh, getting things uh, set up. So from our dashboard, we can just click New, and under Customers, click Estimate. Choose the customer that we want to send an estimate to. Uh, let's just choose Brian. Okay, um, all of Brian's information, since Brian is properly set up as a customer, all of his information automatically transfers over to the estimate form. There are a lot of fields to complete in our estimates forms for Paul's Plumbing, but that's because we have all of these options turned on. I'll show you in a minute where we can control these options. Um, a lot of these, most of these fields are self-explanatory. There's a few that probably need uh, explanation. Tag. Um, this is where you can actually create custom tags within QuickBooks Online. You can tag all income and expense items uh, in order to track them by whatever categories you might want. Uh, service date, product service. This is the heart of your estimate calculation. So you'd want to put in the date you're proposing this service. Here you'll want to choose from your product and services list what exactly you're going to provide. So let's say we're just doing some tapestry with etched glass and we're going to provide them 10 of them. This is a very small estimate. Oftentimes estimates are for much larger items. Um, you wouldn't bother with an estimate for a small item, but we'll show this just as a, uh, an example. I'm going to give it a class. Okay, so that's all we need to do to produce an estimate. Um, notice up here under the customer's name we can track the status of the estimate. So we're just now issuing it so it's going to be pending. If the client signs it we can click accepted. Once the work is done we can close it or if the client chooses not to sign it and wants to look elsewhere uh, we can put rejected. So let's leave this at pending. So let's look and see what our estimate looks like at this point. So we're going to print or preview And here's our estimate. Notice we've already gone in and set up the customized style. We've included our logo, chose the colors, um, and now it's just a very nice, basic, um, good-looking estimate. Um, it has an accepted by and accepted date line, so this is where the client signs the estimate, showing that they've accepted it, at which point you have a contract with your client. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. If we want to print and mail it, we can print it out here. If we're going to email it, so Brian actually has his email account, um, we could do a save and send and that will email it. I don't want to email it so I'm just going to say save and close. So let's remember the customer here, Brian Tublin. So to review all of our outstanding estimates, we can go to sales, overview, Let's look at all of our customers and then we can click the estimates and it'll show us the customers that have estimates open so we can see Brian has one open estimate that's the one we just did and earlier today I did an estimate for Godwin Lighting Depot so from this screen we can see all of our open estimates if they get accepted we can come here and click start invoice and all of the information from the estimate is now actually so this pulls up an invoice for Brian we now have all open estimates on the right side so we can click add and it'll move this estimate to the invoice and there we go so we don't have to retype a lot of the information okay so estimates can be converted into invoices very quickly so I'm going to close out of this now in order for the estimates to be this easy, you need to be have your company set up correctly. So I'm going to give you a few tips on that. As well as show you some of our other 46 free QuickBooks tutorials. Um, 
So if you Google Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials, you should be able to get to our tutorials homepage, which is this. And to the left here, we have a menu of all of our QuickBooks courses. So there's a few things that are important to get set up uh, before you can do estimates. So first of all, you're going to want to customize your sales forms. So this how to customize invoices and sales forms. Essentially, I'm going to flip back to QuickBooks. What you're going to do is going to go into your options up here, accounts and settings, sales. And here you can manage all of your sales forms content. So which of these items do you want to appear on your estimate screen as well as your invoice screen? So notice I have all of these turned on. So we had all of these uh, fields on our estimate. If it's too cluttered and you don't need to track all of this stuff, then you can take them off. The customize look and feel button will show you how to uh, actually so let me click that. Customize look and feel. You can create a new style for an estimate. And here you can actually change how the estimate looks. And again, that will be, you can find more information on how to do that in our how to customize in our how to customize your sales forms tutorial. Another thing you'll need to do in order to make your estimates easy is to set up your lists, your product and services list. So in our tutorials, we have a tutorial for how to set up product and services. Essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your tab and you're going to go to your products and services list. Okay, this gives you all of your products and services list. You can create new products and services list uh, by clicking the new button or you can import them through the import button. Again, all the details there will be in our how to set up products and services in QuickBooks Online tutorial. Great. Very important that you have all your products and services set up for any product or service you provide to your clients. Again, so they can very quickly create estimates, very quickly create invoices. Um, the last thing you'll need to have set up properly in order to create estimates is you're going to have to have your, your uh, customers set up properly so that all of the information will automatically populate in your forms. And here we have how to set up customers, another QuickBooks Online tutorial. So essentially what you're going to do is go into our sales, customers, and then you can either create a new customer by clicking the green button, provide all the information here, or you can import them from a spreadsheet all at one time by going to import customers. Again, all the details for that is given in how our set up customers in QuickBooks Online. So. Before you, want it, before you send your estimates, you want to make sure that you have your sales options set, your sales form customized, your product and services list complete, and your customer list complete. Once those steps are done, very easy to create an estimate um, by simply going to New and Estimate. Great. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Again, you can find all 46 of our free QuickBooks Online tutorials by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorial.